Good morning, dude. It's time to wake up. Uh uh. No, you know where to go. Millie. Good girl. Go ahead and eat, Mama. Can you give me the scissors, Papa? Huh? Can you give me the scissors? Okay. Thank you. Is that Gohan? think so. Daddy knows them all, so Daddy can really be naming them. Well, good morning. Still the morning, right? Yeah, it's 10.07. <laughs> um, really didn't have to do much today cleaning-wise. Well, actually took care of everything in the morning. I basically took care of dishes, kids' rooms, bathrooms, cleaned the toilets, um, vacuumed I just need a mop is the only thing I need to do and so I wanted to play with some makeup and I <laughs> I cut my bangs I cut my bangs a little bit more so um yeah um, I had them short but they weren't that short and I just decided to cut them up a little bit more do you need something no? are you okay <laughs> my kid um so you want a snack Yes, I want chips. Lemon chips? Yeah. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I just cut them up a little bit more, and I like them, you know? Like, it's hair. It grows. I am never really fully committed to what my hair is. Like, I don't know. I'm that kind of a person that is just, like, I'm not attached to my hair whatsoever. If um, people in my real life have had it, like, really, really short, like, uh, when Rihanna... Was it Umbrella? I think, no, shorter than that actually. When she went really short, Rihanna, I went that short. So I'm not attached to my hair whatsoever, but I kind of wanted to change a little bit more. So I cut them, I like them. <clears throat> I have my Sony um, headphones. I was listening to uh, Pandora. I been obsessed with Kane Brown. Um, I just put the Kane Brown radio station and right now this is like my favorite song from him well I love the song heaven Ugh, I love that freaking song and his voice he's got a really nice deep voice and I'm just like um, but this one be like that oh my god I like I love it I'm hearing it I'm listening to it so um, this morning called for I know I know I said I was gonna stop but it's kind of hard a rain sour apple really good flavor Mm. let me go get my kids their snacks and then i'll tell you guys what i got on my face in case you guys are interested and then this lip combo mm, mm. i love it so i will be right back okay kids have their snack i kind of took care of the stuff that was behind me um i need to put my printer away and uh my 
my little mini train cases and all that. Okay, anyways, um, I want to show you guys quickly what makeup I'm wearing. I'm really liking this base, and surprisingly, it was a foundation that I wasn't like too in love with, but it wasn't too bad. So, primers, of course, the Smashbox primerizer and the Ole Henriksen. This is the Banana Bright face primer. Love these. Um, repurchase. This is the second time I purchased this one. And then I got the mini one, like I said before. But I'm definitely going to have to go get the big size because I love that one. I don't like the, was it crystallized? I'm, I have that one in my kit. Um, it's just not for me. I don't think it does that same hydration that the regular one does. Okay. And then I did spray my face with the uh, Maybelline glass spray because I wanted to get a more dewy finish this foundation isn't matte it's more of that like natural finish but it's like a natural matte so it's not too dewy at all so it's the rare beauty um I did a whole video on this foundation and well this whole collection really this whole brand um I have the shade 230n and it's a pretty good match I bought like three different ones I have a darker shade in here this is 240W, um, and then I got 190W, I believe. Um, I gave that one to my mom to see if it fits her skin tone because she is lighter than me. Then concealer, I tried to use the Kylie Concealer in Ivory. This is a little bit more peachy, so I kind of used it for a corrector. It worked for that, and then on top, I went with the Rare Beauty in 230N. I don't really like a brightening look if i do i would go with the uh, uh lighter one which is 170w but i sometimes don't like brightening my under eye um and if i do i'll use a setting powder which i'll show you guys what i use for that so yeah then i went on to use this one then i did my creams which of course you guys know i'm going to use my hourglass Alum Sheer Trio. I used this bronzer. I did not use these today because I wanted to use other products. Um, but I did use this bronzer to warm up the face. But then I added my Huda Beauty in it's the Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Light, which is a little bit deeper. You want more? Okay, I'll go get you some right now. Um, it's a little bit deeper, so I just placed that really on the back part of my cheekbones blush i gave this new one a try it's new to me the milani cheek kiss liquid blush this is in cheeky coral so it's really pretty um very easy to work with actually it's easier to work with than the uh, rare beauty ones those are like super pigmented so this one you can you work a little bit better and i like how dewy this one looks so i personally love it um, the other shades I feel like are going to be too pink or too neutral. So, um, I might pick up more of the neutral shades. I'll see. But I really like that. And then highlight, I did use another cream. And I used this one that I bought. So expensive. To me, for a drugstore, this is expensive. It's like 20 bucks. Like, what the f***? Um, this is a Winky, Winky Lux. This is a strobing balm in Bubbles. So I finally used it today, and I like it. Um, I obviously didn't go too heavy-handed on this because the first time that I used it, I was like, okay, this is a little too light for my complexion, but I made it work, uh, so I do like that. To set my bronzer, I used, obviously, my Hourglass. This is the Radiant Bronze Light. I'm obsessed with this. This is just like a nice finish like a healthy looking glowy finish but it's a powder so it's it looks glowy but it's a powder so i like that and it's like my favorite one i just get this travel size because i'm committed to buying the whole thing and i'm sorry but this lasts a long time and i this is literally hands down my favorite bronzer so for blush to just um set the the milani one because it was a little to do it and i was like okay i don't need it clinging to my my hair um i used the becca this is a, the mineral blush in songbird so it's like a really pretty shade i love it it's like a corally but it has like gold little specks in it love that to set the highlight of course 
my Jaclyn Hill. This is the Flash palette, and I used this shade right here just a little bit because I didn't want it to be too light. Um, brows, I used the Rare Beauty, just the pencil. I do not like the gel that comes in it, in this thing. I, I, it's just too wet. I don't I don't like it. Um, but I do like the brush, and I think this is like a, a brown shade. Let me see what shade is this. Um, in cool brown. So I make it work. My hair is pretty dark, almost black. Um, but I make it work. And then for to set the brows, the gel that I used is from the, um, this is the Tarte Sketch and Set. And I just used the um, brow gel that comes in here. This one's in medium brown. And I really like this one as well. So the lip combo that I have on right now, I love this. It's super affordable. Well, most of, for most of the part, it's a, it's affordable. So I went in with the ColourPop BFF lip liner, like basically all over. Like I outlined my lips and then I filled them in with this. Then on the outer parts, I went in with the ColourPop shade. What shade is this? It's a lippy pencil in BFF three so just to kind of go around the outer part and then like shade in the corners just to give it a look more plump but i did not overline so this is just my lips not overlined it's just the effect of the lip pencils which i love i don't like overlining my lips like i can't do that and then i tried to go in with this one first which is the um wet and wild lipstick in uh never nude is it never nude yes never nude um but it wasn't light enough so it's like it's just not light enough so i ended up going with the this one's a little bit more pricey i guess so this is the kkw in 2.5 so this one's just a little bit more nudie um and this is what i used on the center just like literally in the center and then like blended it out um, and that's it really oh setting powder I did use a setting powder underneath my eyes because they were kind of creasing um, I did use a under eye cream that's why um, I used the KKW brighten powder in shade number three I really like this one I usually don't set my under eye but I felt like it needed it a little bit so that's what I used for eyeshadow i really didn't even do my eyes eyes really so i just took from the elf palette this is the hot chocolate palette i took this in the inner corner which you can't really tell because i didn't go too heavy um with it so it's in the inner corner and then i used this where is it this shade right here on the crease just to give it a little something something So I was in the middle of filming another video. Um, I was trying to film like a um, outfits video, like fall outfit. Um, my camera died. Yeah, I know. I'm charging it right now. I'm charging the battery right now. So um, this is literally my little setup <laughs> right now. I brought my monitor out, my light, which I had to do <laughs> because it broke. So uh, hey. I'm making it work, making it work. Um, I'm charging my camera, like I said, so. Um, yeah, it is 2.16. Um, I haven't had anything to eat yet, actually. Um, I gotta charge my phone. Um, Damien, can you do me a favor, puppy? Can you bring me my charger? It's on the, um, I'm a little warm with this cardigan well it's a, it's a robe but i use it as a cardigan because it's so warm um, um so mm -hmm. um 
I should do that. I should go look at that. I got a mop. That's the only thing I haven't done yet, you know, to the house. So I have to mop, but I'm waiting for my little pads. I use reusable um, pads. So for my Swiffer, I have the Swiffer Jet, you know, with that, you pop in the liquid. Um, it was just getting expensive buying the little towels, right? That are for it. So I went on Amazon and I'm like, you know what? There's got to be like a better option for this. So I did find that you can like get like these usable, reusable, basically like a towel situation where it sticks to the mop and um, you can just wash them, throw them in the washer, dry them and then use them again. So um, that's what I've been using. It's just cost efficient. So um, I think that's all I really needed to update you on. My husband already ha came for lunch. My kids already have had lunch. I'm waiting on my oldest to finish his class. And today I'm thinking I'm going to make some tacos. Um, I think I'm going to make some tacos. And then I'm going to make them a soup, like a little Mexican soup. The um, Norse, it's the Norse brand, I believe. So it's called, it's a sopa de estrella. So it's like star soup. Mm, but it just has, it's just, you know, the authentic Mexican soup flavor to it, you know. I'm gonna make them that I don't know what I want to eat like I said I don't eat every you know what my family eats so I make my own thing I just don't know what I'm gonna eat like I'm deciding do I want my tomato soup with a grilled cheese do I want um, maybe the cheese dogs with like two eggs once I do something for dinner it might be the same thing it might be just a grilled cheese sandwich and a soup it just sounds delicious it was delicious so i think that's what i'm gonna have you know what i've been craving though i know i get cravings um and it, it gets annoying but um health has free shipping on all orders cool cool you see you see mama mama you're not helping me here <sighs> she's the one that sent it to me i don't really check my email so she checks hers. So it's no kidding. Free shipping all holiday season. So enjoy free shipping on all orders. So no matter how much. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so I did remember what I was talking about. Cravings. Yeah, I do get them every so often, honestly. And then like watching people's like Instagrams or whatever, what they're eating. And I'm just like, mm, that does look delicious. But I've been craving um some buffalo wings from applebee's like i love the wings that they use i don't know they could be basic as hell but i like them and i love their um their little quesadillas oh they're so good like i basically just love their uh what is it appetizer their appetizer plate their appetizer combo oh my god i love that thing i'm craving one but not right now. No. Not today. Um, oh my god. Can I have my bandung flas back? Sure. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm finally done filming that um, outfits video. Thank god. I hope it turns out okay. I mean, it's my first time doing this thing. And, um, okay, we have to figure things out ourselves we're not professionals okay so quality or way of it of it being edited might not be the best but hey i gave it my go i put my headband back on it just helps my hair from falling forward i hate when my hair is in like all the time like this like i can't stand it um so i have to clean up um, da -da 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 -da. oh sorry i have to clean i have to Stuff and go here. Just move it to some things around. Let me turn. Oh my god. Uh, this candle smells so good. This is um Chesapeake Bay candle. Home Sense from Target in Teakwood. It smells really good. Obviously, does not smell as potent 
as mahogany teak wood from uh, Beth, Beth and Body Works. But, you know, I didn't want to drive all the way to the mall, to be honest with you. So, I gotta finish my drink. Mm. For one cup, it's 90 calories. The last time I didn't even bother to uh, measure it. Today I am going to, though. And this time it's more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I'm getting myself more than last time, so. That's good. I'm gonna heat that up. Sandwich. I'm just going to have some butter on my pan or in my pan. See, these are thinner. I think the artisan ones, because they're thicker, it just it's just better. But again, we're watching calories here, so And then I'm going to take one slice of this ham. This is the Oscar Mayer smoked ham. So I just take one slice. I'm gonna lay it over. And sometimes I do two cheeses, which I think I'm gonna do. I do two so like the bread melts into the, the bread melts with the cheese into the ham. So I'm just going to do that. Let it sit. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna reduce the heat. So I had it on on medium. And now I'm reducing it so that it cooks slowly. For my kids, I'm gonna make this. This is the nor sopa estrellitas con tomate. So it's a tomato-based star pasta soup mix. Um, I've done these from scratch, so I do have like the bag of the little stars or the letters. Um, I grew up on these, but not on this specific thing. Um, like the big old bag that I have. And I will make it from scratch sometimes. Um, sometimes it's just easier for this just to like hurry up. Because my kid's like, is it almost ready? Is it almost ready? Um, if you make it from scratch, I have to use a blender. I have to make the sauce itself. And then, you know, do its thing. This way, it's kind of just like kind of quick. Okay, so quickly I'm going to share with you guys my dinner for the day. So, of course, the tomato basil soup. Delicious with the grilled cheese, ham and cheese sandwich. Just, just look at that deliciousness. Um, I'm having one egg and one of the cheese dogs. And in here, love this freaking cup. I got it from Walmart. Um, it was during the um, Halloween and um, I just have cranberry mango, the diet to five from Ocean, Ocean something, the brand. Um, but yeah, I love cranberry mango. And then this is a diet five, so only five calories for five for eight ounces, obviously. Um, you know, it's the Scorpio in me that just loves <laughs> things like this all year round. Okay, not just for Halloween, all year round. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my, you know, my lunch dinner. Um, whatever you guys want to call it and I'll see you guys soon. Um, I am going to with my kids after I bathe my dog It's a must today since I already have makeup on my hair's well my hair's straight my hair's always like this um And then our PJs are clean washed and dried. So I think I'm gonna do our holiday um, pictures so um it's going to be me and my kids and my dog, of course. Unfortunately, my husband just doesn't like to take pictures, and that's... <sighs> it's understandable, but it's like also like, come on, dude. We are a family, and um, it's nice to look back year after year, you know, the whole family as we grow up, as my kids grow up, as we get older, and holidays come, right? But he doesn't want to, and I don't force him, so... 
it is what it is it's just gonna be me and my kids just like last year it was just me and my kids um i do have a picture of us on my instagram if you're not following me on my instagram definitely should i do post a lot there um i do a lot of stories and um i do post pictures and stuff so um follow me there if you're not following me i'll put my instagram name here hi guys i know i haven't updated you guys in a while i think last time i i was telling us i was gonna take some pictures i bathed my dog she looks nice and clean she has her sweater on let me show you guys she's got her little sweater how cute is she she's cute gorgeous little angel um i did end up re decorating my christmas tree i'll show you guys in a bit um I did end up picking up some more ornaments from Walmart that I really liked. So um, I put those up so we could take the pictures. We took the pictures. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely should. I uploaded some of the pictures that I took. Let me show you real quick. So um, there's this picture right here. I don't know if it's gonna focus. This picture right here, I love it, especially because my dog is in it. It was a mission trying to get her in the picture. And then this one I love. I came out blurry, but I still love it. This is just with me and my kiddos. Um, there you go, a little bit better. So follow me on Instagram if you're not following me there. Um, I did upload those. Um, but like I had mentioned before, my husband really didn't care to do the uh, Christmas pictures. He, like I said, he doesn't like taking pictures, but turns out now he does because I said I wanted to do Christmas cards. Um, and let's face it, I can't, I can't do these Christmas cards when it says from the Familia Ochoa when hello, he's not there and he's the reason why we are the Ochoa family right so it's like hello he needs to be there so um he agreed he wants to take a picture for um Christmas cards um I was looking at some layouts that I liked I think I'm just gonna order them through Shutterfly yeah that's that's about it I mean I really didn't have anything else going on we watched um santa claus movie and then the santa claus 2 movie so we're just chilling um that's kind of what we do when my husband gets home we like to just chill with you know the family and watch movies and stuff so that's what we did yesterday we watched christmas with the cranks because that's like my top of the list christmas movie like i love that freaking movie i read the book skipping christmas mm, love it so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed vlogmas day three oh my gosh is it day three day two this is day three right it's the two but it's the vlog the number of the vlog is three right yeah okay i'm getting confused here so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit more chill. Um, but yes, it's just our vibe here. Very chill at home. Um, I did just, um, one of my friends from school from cosmetology, she and her sister are making this. Um, they do like, they bought a Cricut and stuff. So they're doing like their customizing cups uh plaques to like a whole bunch of stuff um i'll leave their instagram handle here um it's sisters j creations and they're doing these um like starbucks cups and um there was like this like minty like bluish uh, cup left and um i think i want it for my mom, so mom, I need you to like butt out, not watch this part of the video, or maybe you just watched it and I'm like, fuck shit. Anyways, stop. Mm, you know. Okay, so 
Um, I thought it would be cute and plus it's a small business. It's a small a local business and I am here to support them. Just like my ornaments, um, I have two ornaments of my kids. I'll show you guys a little clip here. It's actually at the beginning of my intro, the ones that have their names. Um, that's also from a, um, uh, yeah, I'll also leave his Instagram handle here. It's create by Madden. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.